Lord is calling us right now to be a fruit inspector, to see what is in our life that's not bearing good fruit, permanent fruit. Some of us may be bearing some rotten fruit because the root is rotten. John 15, 14 through 17, you are my friends. Jesus is speaking. He's telling us, you are my friends if you do what I command. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit, fruit that will remain. Obviously, there are fruit that you can bear, but it won't be in covenant with the Lord. It may be in, co- in covenant with the, with the devil. It may be in covenant with people who are in the world, business partners that are in not in the Lord at all, and you're in partnership with them, and you're making money, but it won't last, beloved. It won't last because it's rooted in the wrong thing. You may be trying to control your children, manipulate your children to do the right thing. That's the wrong root. It won't last. You may get them to do what you want them to do for a period or for a season or just uh, while you're looking at them, they may do the right thing, but they don't, they're not going to do the right thing in their heart. And it may appear that things are getting good, but things aren't good because you're at the helm of it. It's not the spirit of the Lord that's leading you. See, that's a root that's in the wrong place. It's a rotten root. So therefore, it will bear rotten fruit. It won't be fruit that will last. And that is what we're going to have when our root is in the love of Jesus. When he is the vine and we are the branches, we are abiding in Jesus. We are abiding in the word. It says, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for. That's so powerful that when we're in that kind of relationship with our Father God through Jesus Christ, because we've laid it all down for the Lord, He promises us that whatever we ask for, the Lord will give it to us because we're using His name. We're coming in the character of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We're asking And the Lord gives it to us. And then he qualifies what he means by, you are my friends if you do what I command. He qualifies it in verse 17. This is my command. Love each other. If you get that right, if you're rooted in loving each other, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter if you get offended, you're still going to love. No matter if somebody rubs you the wrong way, you're still going to forgive. Uh, you're not only going to love your friends. It's easy to love your friends. Even the people of the world can do that. No, you're going to love your enemies. You're going to pray for your enemies. That means that the supernatural power of God is moving in you, and you've had a mind shift. And that is when you're rooted in the right place. You know, the Lord has forgiven you, so therefore we must forgive others. The love of the Lord is what you need to be rooted in, always. Every source of your life should be rooted in the love of God. 